Good morning. <sighs> I meant to bring y'all up to speed last night before I went to bed, but so freaking tired, I just crawled in the back of this truck. Never picked the camera up, so now I gotta get, get, get my butt up and get ready to roll. I could use about, I don't know, three or four more hours of sleep. I ain't know I got time for that, so let's get up. This has kind of been a bust. Didn't hurt anything. <sighs> Nothing. That didn't go as planned. That turkey's been there all year. Literally since the beginning of the season. First couple days. We laid our eyes on him about the third day of the season or something like that. Fourth day. Big gobbler. Had a pile of hens. Figured he was an old turkey. We were going to wait till late, late, late in the season to try him. Chubbs came in here about a week ago, I think. He was still in the same spot, but he still had some hens. Chubbs got close, but that was it. He probably lied to me. He probably killed him that day. Because I just went in there. And it's a ghost town. <laughs> Nothing. Not one thing. I did hear turkey way down low. But I'm pretty sure it was across the county road down there, I'm fairly certain. But we'll make our way out. That's the only turkey I was interested in killing in here. This new spot. I say new. I scouted it like in January, I think, or February or something. A bunch of fresh hen tracks right out in front of where you park. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Hopefully, it'll hold off and we can make a loop of this place and see if we can uncover something. <sighs> well, the wind's picked up to a point where it's about. I say that and it just died for a second. I should be up on top calling. But I'm walking up this. I just got a big gobbler track right here in this fire break. I'm trying not to see. And that can't be that old. Find a spot for a call right here.
still moving. Following this old road bed, it goes through the better timber. But essentially my strategy here is with the wind, is to move as I'm moving, I'm calling a lot. Like, continuously basically. Because I'm not sure if they can hear me or I can hear them. But if they can hear me and they're moving toward me and I don't know it, I'm gonna call to them enough to where hopefully I can provoke them to gobble before they get in sight. I believe if you, you know, just call periodically every 100 yards or so, you could potentially strike a turkey that you don't hear. He could be moving toward you, you could be moving toward him and y'all bump into each other because he's not provoked to gobble again until, you know, at all. So at least I've got a theory. I think it's worked in the past. I can confirm it as about as much as I can any theory that I come up with, but that's what I'm doing currently. Pretty good looking timber. Probably doesn't help that the direction that this wind has chosen today face dang it well swinging a miss we didn't do any good there uh, I was really hoping that was gonna pan out there's a gobbler in here I've seen his footprints but he's either not talking seen me before I had gave him a chance to talk or he's not here at the moment so we're at it again running a little late this morning but we got to get on that bicycle here in just a minute and pedal our little hearts out running late and I need to get back in there before it breaks there's been a turkey goblin on this ridge we're gonna go to the last two times I've been in here so we're gonna go try to be on that ridge before light so when he gobbles we can make a informed decision on which way to go and i hope i ain't got no competition at this gate because if i do they probably beat me this morning well i was headed to the ridge that i was talking about hunting earlier Two birds gobbled deeper in, and I thought, hey, since Chubbs isn't with me, let's go learn a little bit more about these two turkeys. So maybe we'll have a few to fool with when he comes back in, either tomorrow or the next day. And that way, we may get some video rather than more of this type of stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. They were gobbling good a while ago, but they've kind of slacked off as two turkeys together, I think. So we're gonna drop off in this bottom and see if we can't find our way closer to where they are. Well, he's at the top of that sheer cliff there. There's this creek that runs around the bottom of it it's substantial I don't think we want to try that one that joker's way on up there
pretty big now. If I fall off that joker, I got a gun, three cameras. Tricky. Shit. Thing got the bouncing. He just gobbled <clears throat> up here. He's right there. If I can get to this tree up here, I think I'm gonna give him a call. Must have fell way off the other side. <clears throat> Dang it. for you. That blows my mind there. She got my way down in there. <clears throat> down here. Jeez. <laughs> well. Okay. It's another one of those situations I was freaking five minutes late. Dang it. myself a snack. Found a better way across that creek. Or 
or a safer way, I guess I should say. <clears throat> but now I gotta sign up for this thing here. This thing here. Oh man, I hate that thing. <laughs>